I took you on a tour of the orchard, and now I'm going to give you a little show and tell of our garden. I'll uh, walk in here and give you a little look around. First thing you come to when you come into the garden is three big rows of strawberries. Each of these rows is probably 25 feet long or so. I haven't measured, but I've kind of walked it out and it seems to be about 25 feet. They look like pretty healthy plants, nice and green, lots of flowers. We added a ton of this weed blocking fabric. Again, this place gets really overgrown really fast because of how fertile the soil is and how much rain Alaska gets. It's very different from Colorado where we've been living. It's uh, quite amazing. The next spot is the raspberries. We've got three rows of these raspberries. They're a thornless variety. I don't know what variety. Again, all these plantings came with the property and we've just done what we can to try to maintain them. These need a little tending to. I need to string up some new cord and probably add some more T-posts to help corral these berry bushes in. These grow canes every year and I think the canes are good for either one year or two and then they die off and you have to cut out the dead ones and then fresh ones grow in. As an example, you can see, you know, this one is pretty woody. This is an old dead one. You know, it's it needs to be cut out. And then there's fresh shoots in here somewhere. So they pop up, you know, every year. Fresh ones, little, little baby raspberry shoots come up. So that's a constant maintenance process. <clears throat> Fortunately, I've got good neighbors and they come in here and uh, harvest whatever raspberries they want when I'm not around. And they'll tuck the plants back into their strings so that they grow a little, little bit more orderly. Again, that's one row, another row, and a third row. And we've laid out all this weed stopping fabric. We went and did all our weeding recently. We have to toss out all the dead stuff that we've pulled. But each of these has its own soaker irrigation hose. You can see those lying in the ground. Those were set up here by the previous owners. They did a pretty good job with their gardens. They had kids and I think they used the kids appropriately as labor to maintain the gardens. We don't have that same luxury, so we have to get out here and crawl around on all fours and pull out the weeds and make sure everything's set up right. This poly line you know, is pretty, pretty solid stuff. It seems to stand the test of time. It's been here for years and we haven't really had to do much with it. It's again that Rainbird product that I mentioned in another video. So that's the raspberries and the strawberries. There's chives at the ends of a couple of these raspberry rows. Those are nice to use for baked potatoes. There's a ton of open space in the middle here, which you can see this is all dead. I had tarped that successfully last year. Unfortunately, I didn't tie the tarp down and you can see the line where the tarp folded over from the wind and I got a bunch of growth of weeds under there. The rest of it stayed nice and clear, which is great. So I'll re-tarp that and hopefully stake it down a little better this time. But I've got this section here with these fences in the middle, which I'm going to, once I clear out all that weed growth and these little trees, whatever those are, stick some green beans in there and walk away and hope for the best. Once again, this is sort of an experiment. 
We don't know what's going to work, what's not, but the ground is good. We get a pretty good amount of rain, and I've got irrigation set up with automation that I can hopefully water the stuff enough that I'll come back in a little bit and find some green beans and other things growing. So that is our garden. Give you a quick overview just so you can see. I haven't taken the measurements, but I think each one of these sections of fence is about eight feet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would guess you were looking at a garden that's about 50 feet long and one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, six or seven. So not quite, it's not quite square. I'd say it's uh, probably 50 feet by 30 feet or so. Pretty good amount of space. Hopefully we'll turn it into something productive. And one of the nice things here in Palmer, Alaska is there's a farmer's market during the summer and in the fall and anybody can go in and sell their stuff and I think we might get into that start selling some of the produce from the garden whatever we decide we don't want to eat or can and see if we can turn that into a little bit of a simple revenue stream and for perspective there's the orchard that I showed in a different video